morning. Amen. Let us pray together in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God, our Father, the love of Jesus Christ, and the guidance of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. My dear friends, as we come to celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, we come to prepare ourselves to meet our God. Let us then ask the Lord for His mercy and forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Amen. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Amen. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Amen. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the most high Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Father of mercies, who place your people under the singular protection of your Son's most holy mother, grant that all who invoke Blessed Virgin of Guadalupe may seek with ever more lively faith progress of people in the ways of justice and of peace. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Zechariah, sing and rejoice, O daughter Zion. See, I am coming to dwell among you, says the Lord. Many nations shall join themselves to the Lord on that day, and they shall be his people, and he will dwell among you, and you shall know that the Lord of hosts has sent me to you. The Lord will possess you. Judah as his portion in the Holy Land, and he will again choose Jerusalem. Silence all mankind in the presence of the Lord, for he steers forth from his holy dwelling. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song, You are the highest honor of our race. Blessed are you, daughter, by the Most High God, above all the women on earth, and blessed be the Lord God, the Creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. Your deed of hope will never be forgotten by those who tell of the might of God. You are the highest honor of our race. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Holy Virgin Mary, for the serving of all grace. From you rose the Son of Justice, Christ our God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Amen. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah, 
where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant lived in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Most blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me? That the mother of my Lord should come to me. For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believe that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. And Mary said, My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord, my spirit in God my Savior. The Gospel of the Lord. I think you have already know what this feast day is all about. I mean, celebrated all throughout the news keeps on repeating that what we have in this plane is the biggest celebration of Our Lady of Guadalupe all over the United States. But what is this all about? Is this just the gathering of the Mexican people to come and honor Guadalupe because they come and believe that whatever prayers they have and whatever pains and sufferings they will present to their Lady of Guadalupe will be answered? Is that what this day is all about? Is it a day of asking for favor over and over again. I think our mindset has been that way that we think of our religiosity, our faith as coming to God, making God do what we want Him to do. I would like to bring you back to that year when the mother of Guadalupe appeared to Juan Diego. What was that time? What is happening there in Mexico? It's a time of suffering, of persecution. And then here came the mother of the Americas, La Morena, and led them to fate and the transition in their life to the Catholic faith became a way of doing and living a new way of life. It's not just the miracle that happened. I'm not saying there were no miracles cured. There were nothing that happened that way. That's not, that's beside the point. That is what I will call the icing of the cake. That's just on top of it. Every time the Blessed Mother appears, it is a call to action. A transition of one's life to respond to the call of God and become actively participating in the well-being of others in our community. That is what Our Lady of Guadalupe is all about. Now, and I think that's also the call for all of us Catholic. I mean, this is Our Lady of the Americas. It's not just for the Mexicans. It is for the Americas, South America, and for us here in the United States. It's a call to action to look at the way that people are living their lives. Getting sick is part of our ordinary way of living. Having problems is an ordinary way of living. But deeper than that is the social challenge of every Christian. Do we respond and act? Because our understanding of how it is to live our human life is a response for the total well-being of the others. 
is the transition that Our Lady of Guadalupe is making us see. It's not just a transition there in Mexico and that's it. No. It's all to all of us, the challenge for all of us. You might be sitting on your pews right now. How socially oriented are you? Have you ever visited those ten people in those grounds where they're living in this 34 degrees weather and have given them maybe a sandwich to eat today? I mean, we, if they cut the water in our own homes, we yell and we cry out and we complain. They don't have a water system in those tents. They probably have a bottle of water. You know, how can a bottle of water sustain you the whole day? What are the things that you do with that bottle of water for the whole day? Drinking alone will not even be enough. Now, if this is an elderly person, a, a person of age, probably will say he'll find means. What about the elderly that lives with them? What about the children that lives with them? What about them? Called to understand that we have a part and a role in the life of others. This is what I'm calling about social action. When we see that our needs is not just our daily needs, we learn to think wider and say, what about my other brothers and sisters? And that's what Our Lady of Guadalupe has done those times when people are being persecuted and they call them, they can come to live again under the faith of Jesus Christ. May this call bring us together to be more active, because especially this coming Christmas Day, when we are celebrating enjoying our food and maybe throwing away those leftovers because we're tired of seeing them on our tables. Think about it. How much waste we do because we don't like it. Not because we don't have it, but because we don't like it. It's not of our standards. Maybe instead of having that much, just have one thing that we need and the rest we share to others. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Let us all stand and offer our prayers. Gracious and loving God, we come to you this morning to help us see the reality of human existence and we may respond with wholehearted love as Jesus have done. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. May the food that we have on our table be a blessing, not only to us, but to others who are hungry, especially those who have no food to share. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. We continue to walk, not just on our own, but as a community of faith gathered together, Continue to find means to be of a true existence for the well-being of others. We pray to the Lord. This Mass is being offered for Irene van Verenberg, for Guadalupe Long Longno, and for Maria Rosana Magganao Magganan. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful God, we have our blessings to enjoy, but we also have our brothers to share. Bless each and every one of us that we can work as a community, your children through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For to your goodness we have received the bread we offering. For the earth you work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Amen. Accept, O oh Lord, the gifts we present to you on the, this feast of our Lady of Guadalupe, and grant that this sacrifice may strengthen us to fulfill your commands as through children of the Virgin Mary through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, we to praise, bless, and glorify your name on this, the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son. And without losing the glory of virginity, to brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the new fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, to bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have preached you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior is commanded for by divine teaching. We pray, our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And let us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other this sign of peace. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, the only who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Join me as we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Let us pray. Lord God, may the body and the blood of your Son, which we receive in this sacrament, reconcile all of us always in your love, and may we who rejoice in our day of Guadalupe live united and at peace in this world until the day of the Lord dawns in glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Almighty God bless us all. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has been offered. Go and share the blessings you have received. Thanks be to God.